the number one hurdle by far in my small business is shipping. Shipping, shipping, shipping. It's not how to design things. It's not, you know, uh, customers. It's not marketing. It's not, you know, all that stuff. The number one obstacle to business success for me is shipping. So you can have the greatest product in the world. You can have the best marketing in the world. You can have the best customers who share, you know, word of mouth constantly. But if you can't successfully and economically ship your product, you're not going to be in business. I've constantly, constantly trying to come, you know, organize and, and take my ability to easily package and easily ship, not just ship, but ship packages that will arrive. Okay. If you've ever tried to fight with UPS or USPS or FedEx to get your money back after they've destroyed your product, it is a nightmare. Um, it took me three weeks and, you know, hours and hours. I probably a total of 10 to 15 hours on the phone arguing up the chain with UPS to get a partial reimbursement, even though I paid for full uh, value insurance. They never did give me my full value insurance. Anyways, that's a totally side note. But you got to have packages that will arrive, okay? And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if UPS destroys it. It doesn't matter if USPS destroys it. It doesn't matter if FedEx or DHL destroys your package and you know makes you look like a total idiot to your customer. At the end of the day, it's your problem if you're the business owner because you're the one who's going to lose your butt. You're the one who's going to have to have the sleepless nights and you're the one who's going to have to make it right. So I want to go to the next level so I don't have to worry about that. So far, I've only had one package get uh, destroyed by UPS. I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that we can continue to ship successfully. But today, I got a plan to make it even better. So check it out. Installed. It's like a gazillion degrees out here and like 100% humidity. But I got it done. And it's overbuilt like crazy. Just to show you how overbuilt this is, uh, check this out. This is where I demonstrate how much bigger my ego is than my triceps. Now, I would do more, but I'm out of shape. So that can hold 215 pounds um without even moving the slightest bit so it's not going to fall on my head and i make sure that it's high enough so if i lean in it clears so 
this is definitely going to help out a lot because um, before this, I was using packing peanuts, which uh, a lot of people don't like packing peanuts, but they work really, really, really well. Um, but customers aren't a big fan because uh, they go everywhere, right? You open your box, you got a mess. And, um, and they cost more, let's be honest. So as many people that have told me that, hey, look, paper works better and it's cheaper, you know what? I'm gonna try it out. I mean, what do I got to lose? So, let's see how this thing works. I'll get some paper hooked up in there and uh, try it out. And you stuff this in the box. So, I hope that this really helps. Um, it's gonna be a lot less mess because I've got packing peanuts all over the shop. And, um, but uh, now I have to get back to packing up some BA shredders for you guys. Thanks for the orders. And um, real quick before I go, I do want to pass along. I regret to inform you that um, my cost for the BA shredder has gone up $48. And so I have no choice but to either go out of business or raise my price by $48. So I'm not going out of business. Uh, <laughs> But I do have to pass that cost along because uh, I can't give away BA shredders for free. So I hope you guys understand. There's nothing I can do about it. The price of steel is just all over the place. I was able to avoid it for a long time because I purchased a whole bunch of stock back in March um, before the prices skyrocketed. Um, well, they had gone up, but now I have to buy again. And uh, so now the material costs a lot more than it did in March or April. So that's the story. Um, thanks for the support. Like, subscribe, share. Uh